Hey Glow Beauties, we have a fun, what are we going to call? Hey Glow Beauties, I have a fun, easy, breezy, lemon squeeze. What oh, is you crazy mother? Hey Glow Beauties, I have a fun, easy, Barbie pink look and I'm gonna show you how I got this look and we're gonna be using my old favorite Pat McGrath My custom palette with Cleona Cosmetic and Viseart. We're gonna be using some Bridgerton. We're gonna be using some Colourpop We're gonna be using a lot of my fingers to do this because this is gonna be a very easy fun application great for the summer because it's light and airy and this is the way I like to go in the summertime because you just you don't want things that are going to be heavy so this is my take on the pink Barbie look and look it okay if Barbie wasn't around I'd probably be giving you this and it would be under a different title easy breezy pink summer look okay because pink has been rocking for a while and I've been rocking pink for much longer than that I even have this rocked this is the where all the bubblegum pink derived from Dior's Rosy Glow 001 which I have panned I've had it for years pink is my favorite color especially like bubblegum pink so I like more saturated colors I love pink a lot of people at work say girl you're in your pink today with that you know I thought I've been doing this look I'm going why don't I just make a video of it and because Barbie's in let's rock the pink Barbie look I grew up with Barbie so many people have grown up with Barbie Barbie, totally iconic. I'd love to dress my Barbies. I'd create life scenarios for my Barbies. I mean, it helps you to get ready for adulthood. I don't know where my Ken went to. He didn't show up, but nonetheless, miracles still happen, so you never know. Life is an adventure, and you never know what's going to be around the corner, okay? Life doesn't end until you pass away, right? So there's still always going to be possibilities. So that's the way I look at it. Ken, if you're hearing this out in the universe, you know, I am here. You can't show up whenever you like. All the makeup that I use will be listed in the description box for below for your perusal and your purchase. They are affiliate links and they give me a little kickback, though I haven't seen it yet because I'm still a small channel and I haven't made up to a certain amount that gives you the kickback yet. But nonetheless, it also pings the brands that I am talking about them. And with that, they sometimes eventually will start sending you PR. And it really helps to support my channel and it actually really does help the brands to get to know me more and it's no cost to you also don't forget to subscribe to join the glow fam and be a happy magpie glitter glow member of this lovely corner of the universe like this video because guess what what it does is it shows your appreciation also gps's this video to the youtube universe all the other glow beauties and magpie glitter happy people will see this video and come and watch it too youtube is a huge universe when you like it really does help to gps the video throughout with that let's get in as you know I love pink. This is all up my alley that Barbie is in because she rocks pink and I rock pink. Maybe I'm a Barbie girl. I have no idea. Let's get in. I'm going to, we're going to do a full face, okay? We're going to start from scratch. So I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury. You can't get this one anymore, but so I'm panning it and it's serviceable for me. So we're just going to get rid of a little bit of this darkness under the eyes just a little because this is going to be a kind of more natural summer light look so we're going to go into the makeup forever this is the water tone foundation and it's kind of like a natural slightly luminous watery base type foundation so it's lovely for the summer let's hope it doesn't splash sometimes it likes to squirt yeah, I did a little bit of a squirt there. So this is very watery, but it sets so amazingly. I just love this. 
and it's the the undertone is so perfect for my skin and great when I have a tan and I have the lighter version when I'm just beginning in the summer and I have to work fast because it sets pretty it's so good it sets so nicely and it gives such a natural luminous look you can still see your skin underneath it and you don't want a heavy look for the summer, you know? You want it to be light, easy, breezy. I use my fingers. Um, it may look like I'm pulling, but it's not really. My skin can handle It's pretty tough. Um, I go all the way up to my eyes so as to make it continuity because I want it to know over my nose. So, and then my forehead. So I do it in sections because it sets so beautifully. I love the way this sets, man. It just feels perfect and solid on my skin because I'm thinking, oh, a watery one is gonna be so watery, not really have much substance. The glossier doesn't have glossier one doesn't have that much substance, but this one does. So I kind of like this for that. The glossier one is a little thinner, um, so very even more transparent. But I like this because it kind of blurs imperfections yet still being see through and natural. So I do like this. It's best of both worlds for foundation and a like a sheer watery like almost a BBCC cream though those BBCC creams are misnomers those are like foundations they just put a new name on it that's all half of them so this is the real deal <laughs> okay I think I did it she is beautiful I just love this foundation man it's great, so lovely for the summer. Okay, so, and I did it on my eyes because I want to, I have a natural tint on my eyes so it almost looks like natural, a natural eyeshadow. I want to kind of slightly cancel it out a little bit because we're not going to use an eye primer this time around. There's a lot of fingers being used in this one, but first we're going to use my brush and we're going to go into my Hourglass Elephant. When I love this. I have panned so much. Look at that pan, okay? So this is my finishing powder right here. So I go through those, and you're gonna see what else I do, okay? So I'm gonna go and do a little setting because I am normal oily, so I do wanna set a little bit. And I still, I still go through those two. And then what I do, okay, this is this one here is the highlighter right here. So I do, a, I add a little highlighter to my finishing powder, just to add a little bit more luminosity. It's great for the summer to do that. See, just add a little bit more, you know, mix and match. Add a little bit more luminosity to it. Okay. Barbie needs to do her eyebrows. This is MAC Fiber Gel. And this is because my eyebrows are very, very dark, practically black. I like to kind of tone that down a little and it helps to set my eyebrows because my eyebrows can get a little unruly. I don't do too much, this is it. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I'm just not one of these people that wants to waste a lot of time on makeup. I'm not into all this eyebrow thing and I don't like heavy brows, so this is as far as I go with it. So we're going in with my Pat McGrath. I've been using a lot of Pat McGraths this summer. She has been my reliable go-to eyeshadow. There's just Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona and a little bit of Cleona Cosmetics, maybe a little bit of Lethal. Anyway, I can go on, right? It all depends on my mood, but definitely Pat McGrath has been my reliable. And I love it because like, I love using my Mothership palette. I'm using Divine Rose One. And this shade here is iridescent pink. And this is amazing because it's literally like a holographic 
iridescent highlighter that she put into the into an eyeshadow palette so literally it is a highlighter so I'm using this to cancel out the darkness of my eye and of course it's iridescent pink okay so you're getting that beautiful Barbie pink holographic duochrome look it's totally amazing and yeah so I'm moving it up my eye a little bit into my crease area to cancel out any of the um, darkness on my eyes and it gives a wonderful base as opposed to a primer I like to use my my Urban Decay Eden primer because it's almost a white base to cancel out so I can get two colors and this one gives me a nice easy look so that's my Barbie base so this is a Mothership 3 subversive this was my favorite my first palette that I wanted from Pat McGrath and in fact it ended up being the last palette I bought I don't know how that happened but it ended up being the last palette that I bought and I would go into Sephora all the time to swatch this particular palette that one and I think it was um, mothership the one with the gold in the um, green it's a yellowy green now, those were the two ones but this one was first because it was the first of the three that I would go into Sephora for okay I just could not resist so now we are going to go into VR pink and of course I'm using a funny finger but there is no meaning to it except that it's easy to apply on my lids so so this is a beautiful beautiful iridescent pink um, and normally I would put a little bit a tissue under here to catch any glitter but <laughs> we're just going quick just with my fingers super easy okay very easy I told you it's an easy fun look easy fun Barbie relaxed look okay so then we go into here and then I'm taking my refer number 16 this is my custom palette that I made using Viseart's empty palette I think you can still buy Viseart's empty palette and I made my own summer palette inspired by some other palettes like I think I got inspired by Too Faced their cocktail one. I forgot what it was called, their summer cocktail one. I will say that on the sim. But anyway, I got kind of inspired by that and I got inspired by another palette, an indie palette. So I've made my own summer palette. The mattes are Viseart because I have a lot of Viseart mattes and I have the Cleonard ones here. Cleonard's singles fit perfectly into the Viseart palette. It makes such a cute palette. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Viseart pink and I'm going to mix. And the thing is, the reason why I put these two pinks in because the light pink and a darker pink and I can mix them together or I could use this as my transition or my base and then use this or mix them together same with this the yellow and the orange I can mix them together to make a much a softer orange or a, uh, a more um, toned down yellow so these are the why I put those in I've got the purple there and then I can mix these two together or I can mix the pink and the purple to make a toned down purple so I have my reasons for the reason why I made it that way so that you can mix the colors together I kept this dirty because it has some extra because I've been using my Barbie pink so I'm just going into my crease I might have gone a little too I, I it's easier for me to do this in a normal mirror it's harder to do it when, because I don't see up close very well you know, I'm of a certain age, y'all. I'm of a certain age. In fact, I just turned 60, all right? So, yeah. So, up-close vision isn't always the best, I must say. Oh, I went very pink with that. So, we're just going to match it on this eye here. Just going to tone it down a little, okay? So love the look already. 
going back into this one. Okay, so we're finished with that. And then I was going to use a glitter glue, but I'm not. So I'm just going to go into this one. This one is Astral Ghost Orchid, which is a lighter pink. And I'm just going to do a little ding, 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 right in the middle. Right in the middle, right there. Just to give a little highlight to it. A little bit more interest and sparkle. Okay. There we go. Now I could have used my Pat McGrath's Intensifies to do this, but today we're just going to do it this way. Okay? So there we go. We did it. Now, as a highlighter, we're going back into Divine Rose 1. We're using the Iridescent Pink 003 as a highlighter. So we're going to put it on the brows, the brow bone, as a brow bone highlighter, and then we're going to put it on the nose. Cheekbones. It makes for an amazing highlighter because literally that's what it is. That's what it is. There we go. The Bridgerton blush it's got a great pink in here a lovely Barbie pink and I am going to adjust it a little bit and we're going into Pat McGrath a blush brush getting some pink on I put it on my I do blush draping my mama always told me to put it in other spots too. I don't use any bronzer. This is my brush is my bronzer. And I don't contour. I don't like a muddy face. I find it too muddy. Those work great in photos, on stage, in at night out but not during daylight. Instagram thing just took over way too much and it made it totally inappropriate for normal days. Everybody looks like they got mud on their face when, they, when it's done too much, which is mostly how people do it these days. It's not subtle. It's not natural. Bubba, that's, that's my fairy tale. My kitten, and he's feeling he's feeling very loving right now. We're going to mix it with ColourPop. So we go from luxury to drugstore. ColourPop comes through every time. So this is just going to brighten it up a little bit. So get a little bit of Barbie brightness. You see how I have a whole bunch of bubblegum pink? Because that is my style. I love bubblegum pink. This is like one of my, this is one of my favorite blushes of all time. I think his butt got on my heart. Lord have mercy, fairy tale. Uh, you're dirty and true to your name. Fairy tale, you're dirty and true to your name. So we're doing this and we're doing this. We're having a ball here, right? And we've got fairy tales, tail literally giving himself a cameo. A cucaracha. Okay, fairy tale. He had his nap, so he's feeling very loving right now. We've got the Ilya mascara. I love this mascara. But with him on my thing, it's gonna be a while. So let's see here. Takes a little bit to do it. I want to keep him happy. If I'm not paying enough attention to him, he starts to really meow. And his meow, as a Tonkinese, which is a Siamese Burmese mix, can be quite strong. And he's such a sweetie pie. He's my fairy tale. He comes from a lot of family stories. And that's why we call him fairy tale. Because it's a lot of miracle stories behind that tale of his. Family stories. A lot of family stories? Yeah? 
That's in your tail. Going into my Chanel Compact and we're gonna go into, this has been my tried and true faithful red and pink lipstick. And that is pink. That is definitely pink. A lot of times I use my fingers, but sometimes it's just easier to use a, a little brush. And of course, of all days, nobody ever plays music until I film. It's either gonna be a dog barking or my neighbor's voice who suddenly come back from his work stint, or this time it's music. The next thing, we're gonna go into this Fenty Strawberry Gloss. I don't know whether it's called Strawberry Gloss, but this is what I'm calling it. I'm on the last dregs, so this is why I'm using every side of the applicator. There we go. This is it. This is my Barbie fun, easy peasy pink look. Using my Pat McGrath, using my Vizier custom palette. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix it. This is the first time I've ever used MAC Fix Plus, and this is the Stay Over. This is the new one with the pink cap, and it's got the pink, and it lasts for like, it's supposed to last for like 24 hours. This is solid, and it gives a lovely mist spray. If you can see here, it's, listen, look at, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful mist spray, and it's alcohol free. Oops, don't wanna breathe it in though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it, sometimes I do it as a mist spray on my face directly, and other times I do it this way. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do it this, and we're gonna seal in the pink summer Barbie look. And this is gonna be summer proof. Believe me, it's summer proof, it's work proof, mask proof. This thing is solid. Call it. And it gives a lovely luminescence all at the same time. Love this. Or what I do is I spray it on my face, slightly let it set, slightly, and then do this, tamp it in. And your makeup, my makeup is solid. Maybe at lunchtime I bring in my blush and I do it just a touch there but otherwise this makeup is solid so there this is a refreshing summery easy peasy is easy to apply it's a lovely light fresh barbie pink take and i think i got that i think i got that one of my colleagues called me a cotton candy rainbow marshmallow <laughs> I like that. I hope you enjoyed my Barbie fun, refreshing pink Barbie look. Using my Pat McGrath and my custom palettes. If you are going pink, because listen, pink has been in for the whole year. Barbie has just taken it up a notch. Now that Barbie has taken over, it's a whole lot of fun. If there is any pink people out there that enjoy their pink, give me a double pink heart, the dancing heart one. Say, hey, we are pink people. We love our pink. Whether Barbie is here or not, we're rocking the pinks. I like Barbie too. I would love to have my Ken, but you never know, miracles do happen still. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you enjoyed this pink Barbie fun look, give me a thumbs up. Believe me, what it does is it GPSs this video out into the YouTube universe, and then all the Barbie pink and the pink lovers and the glitter lovers and the glow beauties will see this video and enjoy it too. And with that, don't forget, rock your own kind of pink Barbie glow beauty look and keep on going and keep on glowing. I will.